Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In the last video, we completed the modeling for our wash tower. And in this video, we are going to unwrap this model. So let's remove all the duplicated objects first. let's start with these legs first I'm going to combine them and then open my UV editor go to create and use automatic mapping now go to edge mode and use move and sew so this one is attached Place it this side. Let's attach the top and the bottom faces. Select all the UV shells and unfold, then use layout. Go to edge mode, select this edge and press shift right click, use orient shell to edge. Do the same for this one. And this one. Again use layout. Now let's unwrap these faces. So all these planks are same. So let's separate them first. And deselect this one and remove all of them. Select this plank and go to create. Use automatic. Move and sew. and layout now select these cubes go to edit and hit automatic use move and sew Attach the top and bottom faces. Select all the shells and unfold. Then use layout UV. Now time to unwrap these boxes, select all of them and combine. Again go to create and use automatic.
Tuck all the shells and unfold. Attach the top and bottom faces. Unfold one more time. Fix the orientation. Press E to rotate. Like this. Unfold. Rotate this one. And these two. Select all of them. Unfold one more time and use layout UV. Now select these four cubes and combine and go to create and select automatic mapping. Go to edge mode, select the edge, use move and sew. Attach bottom and top faces. Layout. So we have unwrapped all these. Let's combine all of them. And go to UV shell mode, select all the shells and use layout. Fix the rotation of these shells. Again select all of them and then layout. Now let's select this one and go to create then use automatic. Go to edge mode, select these edges and use move and sew. Bring it this side, use move and sew and one more time. The UV shell and unfold. Select these edges and use move and sew. Unfold one more time. Rotate it like this. And fix the orientation by selecting this middle edge and go to orient shell to edge. Add UV layout. Do the same for this one. Go to create and use automatic. Select these edges and use move and sew. Go to UV shell and unfold. Again rotate this, fix the orientation, go to UV shell and use layout UV, um, select both of them and combine, go to UV shell and again use layout UV. Let's create the duplicate. To top view, select this and change the pivot. Now press Ctrl D and rotate it like this. Change the rotation to 180. Now select 
all of them and combine for the UV shells, select all the shells and use layout UV. You can assign a different material to them. Just right click on it and assign a new material. I'm going to rename it as metal. Let's select these stairs and combine them. Go to create, use automatic mapping. Again, go to edge mode. Select this edge, use move and sew. Add them in a layout. Select this one. Again, go to create, use automatic. Select the edge and use move and sew. Attach these faces. Go to UV shell and layout. Go to front view and let's create a duplicate. Press Ctrl D, place it here like this and press shift T again to create more duplicates and place them inside these two boxes Now select all of them Go to perspective mode and combine them Go to UV editor, UV shell, select all of them and unfold Then use layout UV Now let's create the duplicates we deleted earlier. Select this, create duplicate by pressing Ctrl D, place it upside like this. You can press R to scale it a little bit to fix the alignment. Now select this plank, go to front view, press 4 to enable the wireframe. Go to modify and use center pivot, press ctrl D and place it like this, press shift D to create duplicates with transformation and select all of them, combine, go to UV editor, select all of them and use layout UV. Now select it again, press ctrl D and create a duplicate and place it on the top of the tower like this press R and scale it a little bit now do UV shell select all of them and unfold one more time and then use layout again you can just separate them and Go to object mode and make some more tweaks like we did in the last video. So we have completely unwrapped our model. Let's select all of it 
and deselect these metal plates. Combine them. Go to UV shell, select all of them and use layout. So let's select this object and go to edit delete by type history. And I'm also going to rename this material to wood. And this one is our metal. So select all of it and go to file then export selection. Choose your folder and export it for texturing. I'm going to export it as OBJ. So we have completely unwrapped our model and exported for texturing in Substance Painter. That's it for today and if you like this video then subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next video till then. Thank you for watching.